YouTube, how's it going? John here at Herman Woodworks. Spring is upon us. It's time to start getting in the yards, doing some of that spring cleanup. And to anybody that's followed the channel, I have a lot of different steel chainsaws, my 461, my top handle. I was missing something in the mix though. I just wanted something, sometimes when I'm running the mill, something I can grab real quick. Just do a little buzz cut, not having to fire something up, keep something warm. So I decided I have the full line pretty much of rigid tools and they decided to come out with this. So let's get it unboxed, get a look at it. All right, I ordered this line online from Home Depot. This is their kit version of the saw that comes with the six amp hour battery and the charger. Let's get this thing unboxed and get a look at it. All right, so what we got here in the box, the instructions and the stuff to send in for, for their warranty, because much like all the other rigid stuff, it comes with the lifetime warranty on their batteries and the tool if you send all the information in. Pretty straightforward. Small little charger, it really reduced the size on these. That's, oh, that's the battery. And I'm gonna have to set this down. Oh, oh, here we go. All right, let's get this all the way out. All right, all in all, this is what you should be getting in the box if you get the kit. So like I said, this is their max output, six amp hour battery. Obviously this does not come charged. We'll need to get that charged up. Um, yeah, it's got a good feel to it. Let's, let's get this thing totally uncovered. All right, just wanted to give everyone a size comparison here. There's my steel 025, my, my MS194 top handle. So you can see, it's a good size. Um, it's considered a 12 inch blade. Obviously there's only 10 inch that comes past by the time it's clamped down. It is dual bolt, which is nice, making sure that that blade stays locked and tight. Uh, here's for adjusting your chain tension. Your bar oil reservoir. And the only thing I wanna check is see is, you know, they give that six amp hour battery. I have a nine. I want to see how that sits in there. All right, I don't know how they'll compare, but like I said, this is the max output that they've started offering. This is one of their older, this is a nine amp hour when they were doing their hyper octane line. Um, it still, it fits in there. I know, I think on their website, I think they did say they're gonna be offering a 12 amp hour battery. I don't know if that'll fit because it's getting tight on clearance, but I'm sure they'll make adjustments. Then again, this thing's pretty small, so if they keep it smaller like that, it might be able to. All right, I'll do a comparison later on batteries, but it does have the chain lock. That's it activated. You can see that this is the release for the trigger. You pull that down and pull the trigger. Right now, with it, it locks out the bar. So if you pull that back, then come back here, pull that down. And that makes it go. All right. All right, so obviously, for anybody that's new to the chainsaw world, you're always going to have to add your bar oil. That's where you're going to add it at. Um, I'll be excited to get this out in the woods and give it a test run. The, kind of the main reason was, like I said, was doing, like if I have a little campfire, when I cut something, this will be just a little better. I mean, I have my axe, have my bow saw, I can have all those things, but especially using this next to the mill where I can just pick it up and run it, and not have to fire up a saw. This will come in pretty handy. To anybody that's curious, here are some of the stats on the box. You know, like I said, it's the 18 volt. They say 9.1 pounds. The chain zero or 0 0.043. It's a tiny, it's almost like a little steel, like a little Pico chain. Okay. 
considered thin kerf. Like it. All right, and also wanted to point out on the bottom of the saw, they got your, what they call your scrunch for popping your bar off and adjusting the tension. That's pretty nice that it kind of hides right in here. And then it just presses back in. Of course, I get hard, a lot harder when you're doing it with one hand. And then for probably technically, I'm sure they could consider if you're like an arborist climbing a tree that you could tie it off on yourself. But more than likely, this is just meant for hanging it on the wall. Just a nice place to store. All right. Overall, first impression, really happy with this. Is it a monster? No, it's meant to be a homeowner's unit doing a little light limb clearing, cutting up some some smaller brush, you know, getting into the occasional four inch, six inch log. Yes. Can you max it out and cut up to a supposedly a 10 inch log? Yeah, sure. I, well, I'll test that eventually here, but I have other saws for that. Mostly this is just something when I'm on the tractor, if there's some brush in the way, I can just have this in the cab hop out, cut it, throw it back behind the seat, and not worry about it. Um, it. I'm really excited to try this out. All right, video wouldn't be a video without sending it through a log or two. So, uh, yeah, whatever kind of bar oil you want, just bar oil. Going to top this off, and let's go cut something. All right, that has an O-ring in there. You can see the bottle is a translucent color. You can see it's full. You don't have to really wrench these down a ton. In case you do, and it, or you, it gets swollen and you have a hard time with your hands getting it off there, there is a pretty cool nifty little slot that you can take your scrunch, pop that out, stick that in there, and turn that. All right, so out by the sugar bush here, and got about a piece of about five inch ash, about five to six inch ash. I'm gonna do a cut on that just to see how it does. does how it does. We'll spin around and I'll make another small cut also. All right, and before we cut, as always, safety first eyeglasses, some gloves, long sleeves don't hurt. Nice thing about the electric saw, it's real quiet. Probably don't need hearing protection. If it's if you're what you're cutting screeching, then you might want to get some. Um, if you're going to do a lot of cutting, it doesn't hurt. Get yourself a set of chaps. Don't be that person. Don't go to the hospital with a cut across your thigh. No bueno. Tilt it up, tilt it back a little bit. Up higher, honey. Right there. All right. Dad, there's not a red button. Is it still recording, bud? Yeah. Yeah, it's still recording. It's okay, honey. Unlock. Maybe spin it a little bit. Make sure you got a little, <laughs> little oil on your blade. All right, we're ready.
All right, and as you can see, this is kind of going to max this out. This is a piece of cherry that's been back here. So I'm going to cut it across, and you can see this is a crotch of some branches. So that's going to fight it. Let's see what this thing can do. As you can see that was three branches so there was a lot of not grain and as you can see that was maxing it right across pretty good and cherry is obviously pretty darn dense so all right and real quick just so everybody understood what I meant when I said if you hang the chain up and spin it you want to see speckling like that come off the chain to make sure that your oilers oiling the bar and the chain make sure you're getting good protection on it so it doesn't warm it and ruin your chain really quick all right so overall really happy with how the unit cut the only thing i noticed of it was i'm sure it's not the highest grade chain is there was a little bit of stretch you'll typically get a little bit of stretch with a new chain so you will after the first couple cuts have to loosen these take this and turn it indicates for you to tighten it up so you'll have to move the bar forward so that it tightens up the chain and then lock these back down they do claim 100 cuts with that six amp hour battery I don't, you know, they don't really specify 100, how many, what, what kind of cut, what kind of wood. I'm sure it's the total variable. Like I said, this is an older 9 amp hour battery. I've had it for a while. I only took one bar off of it, and that's immediately it's going to dip down a bar. So pretty good. So I'll get the other 6 amp hour battery charged, and maybe later on I'll do a comparison test on how that max output versus maybe one of these older batteries do. All right, so overall going over the unit, really happy how performance testing, how it cut through that ash and that cherry, that went really well. Um, you know, if you're the professional logger, do you need this? No, but you already know that. This is something for the homeowner, somebody in a situation like myself, like, like I said, keeping it in the tractor, maybe, you know, just going out for some real quick light brush clearing. Perfect. Gets a thumbs up from me. There are other comparable units. I know, I think the Ryobi actually has one. Milwaukee has one. Milwaukee, I think Makita, DeWalt, I think they all have one. But most of them are also all double the cost of this. This, I think, for the bare tool was, I believe, $189 for the kit with the battery. It was right in at $249. Um, way better than i think the like i said i think the milwaukee battery or tool alone is almost 400 odd dollars so somebody else could correct me if i'm wrong but that's it all right youtube so once again super, really happy with how this turned out um if you have any questions leave them in the comments i'm pretty good about answering everything but if you're new to the channel please subscribe and i'll talk to everyone again soon